please stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us to offer to God our act of contrition, our sense of repentance for all the sins we have committed against Him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for the sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in the fount of life. O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please stay your seats. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful in what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent and equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your statutes. statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping your words. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in riches. Lord, Lord teach me your statutes. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. According to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into pockets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. There will be wailing and grinning of teeth. Jesus asked them, Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed into the kingdom of heaven in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household 
who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. The Gospel of the Lord. Please take your seats. Well, dear sisters and brothers, and I the other readings, but I, I, I know what I'm going to say to all of you. Today we are celebrating the patron of all uh, scholars of biblical studies, Saint Jerome. Okay? When we talk about Saint Jerome, we can take it too quickly that, well, it's another saint. But among all, this is uh, one of the, after Saint Paul, and after other saints, of course, who are so bright, the 36 doctors of the church. But Saint Jerome is the one who uh, is receiving this call of translating the Bible from the Greek, from part of also from the Hebrew to the Latin. And the Vulgata is the translation that we use in our masses, that we use in New American Bible in English. Es la Biblia latinoamericana en español está basado en esta uh, traducción de la Vulgata. So this Bible, this translation is the key work of one of the many saints who has put his all talents and efforts to bring us closer to the Word of God. When we are thinking in St. Jerome, we are thinking as St. goes past to going back to the 4th century, uh, and we are going to uh, celebrate today this uh, amazing saint who remembers us that it's very important to approach to the scriptures. But it can be done in many ways. We do the basic ones, like reading. Many of you, maybe you have your Bible in your house, in an honored place, never dusty. Um, and always to try to read it once and upon a time. When we are going with the kids, we can buy um, an adapted, uh, brief scripture. That's not that. I remember when I was a kid, and my dad bought me a colorful book, and I was looking all these uh, cartoons of Goliath and the fish, and well, it's a good investment. Instead of buying an application, you can my oh, PS4 or 5 to their kid, you can give them this Bible. And then your grandson, or your son or daughter can read to your grandson. It's an example of all of it. So when we are approaching to the scripture, we are going to be not just educated, but just here in the reading, we are to be transformed. Because the scripture, you can read it, you can pray with it, or you can study. It's not the same. You are approaching to the scripture, but when you go from just reading like any book, well, I'm going to read it, I am bored, it's a coronavirus time, I promise you, <laughs> some of the time, I know you did it. Um, you are going to pray it, because you will discover the spiritual sense. This is a book who speaks from God, from our faith, from the faith of the communities. God speaks truly to the scripture. We pray, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes that is, oh, oh, okay, give me something new. If it's your case, it's your case. It's not going to be offended. Yes, I can. You always say the same. I know, you need it. But talk to me something learn, something more. When you read the scripture, you increase your vocabulary how to speak to God. You read the Bible, you get educated, can entertain it. But you go to the next level to be praying. Because you can discover that the presence of God is truly there. And then you can know the sense of the song, at that part of the hymn, that part of the scripture. You image, uh, your imagination sees those images of Jesus, all these prophets, Moses, and your mind is trying to wonder. But it's not just about imagination or feeling good, it's about making it alive in our life. That is what we call the Word of God. This is paper, and I don't want to be so crude, but this is paper. But when you read it, especially the readers, it comes alive. When you read the Gospel, when you read the Misalets, well, it's printed ink. But when you leave it, when you make it yours, that Word becomes alive. 
So you go to the other step, which is the study. And that means uh, the reflecting and discussing, being in forums and classes. But when you are going and more knowing about the scripture, you become amazed of the real significance of those image, measures, uh, ideas, story, parables, examples, and you can construct a better notion of what is the culture and why Jesus or why the other uh, biblical uh, characters say what they say. And we sometimes misunderstood and we translated 2020 ideas in our uh, Western culture and we don't know exactly what that means sometimes. And we can create a very, uh, maybe sometimes dangerous uh, interpretation of the Bible. That is why, dear sisters and brothers, today we are grateful for all the efforts since after, before Jerome, of course, but he was a key part. Because after that, we had the intervention of the Bible uh, in our story. When we approach more to the scriptures, Paul was told us, if you approach to the scripture, you know more Jesus. When you approach more to the scripture, our life can be transformed. It's the source of all sainthood in our church. Of course, we have the sacrament. But if we have not this attitude of going to the scripture, we can be sometimes a little, I don't want to say the word ignorant, but limited about all the graces that are waiting for us. Answers, advices, sometimes corrections from God are there. Sometimes we hear, especially in the youth group, the problem is that sometimes the youth don't want to read the Bible. It's because they know that when they approach it, they can be put, not in shame, but in evidence. So if we want to know better, we need to know the scripture in order to see their condition or x-ray of our spirit, let us say, let us to go to the scriptures. It's free, you don't pay nothing, you get wise and you get blessed. So dear sisters and brothers, we pray for all the other scholars. Not me, no. ignore me that. <laughs> but let us pray for all the teachers in the seminaries for all those who make investigations. We are, have several congregations, priests, religious, who has studied right now their masters, their doctor uh, uh, degree, and they are suffering. One of the things that many don't want to study is sacred scriptures. Not because they don't know the Bible, the final product you have in your home, it's because they have to study Greek, they have to study Arabic, they have to study Hebrew, they have to learn many other things in the culture so they can use their knowledge to apply to the interpretation of the Bible and be uh, effective teachers. And study for your seminarians too. Because one of the most difficult assign uh, uh, um, subjects in our studies is Bible. Know the final product. You can read it or listen it in your applications. Is to go and try to, when you are in a kind of discussion, you want to deliver a nice homily or you want to do a kind of uh, class, you need to know how to at least to use the elemental things and make it an effective uh, interpretation. So dear sisters and brothers, pray for the students, for all the teachers, for all the efforts. And the church, also the other institutions, and also from the our uh, Christian brothers and sisters who are not Catholic, continue also to increase the knowledge of the Bible. Because when we discover scrolls, when we discover some kind of pergaments or something there, it's not like, oh, this is the right translation. No, increase our knowledge. That is why we need to increase our faith in Jesus, but as well our knowledge in what he's speaking, because he's the word. Old Testament, New Testament is the same word of God, the same thing we have to apply our knowledge, and both of them. May St. Jerome bless us and increase as well our love for the knowledge of the things from heaven. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. Dear sister.
sisters and brothers, gather as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God, let us ask Him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of His hearing. For Pope Francis and Alexander our Bishop, for our pastor, Father Charles, and all the clergy, we the people of God may always follow their commands, His commands. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who call who hold public office, and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the process of recovery from families who are coming back to their house, those ones who have lost everything in the past wildfires, for those ones who have sacrificed their lives, for all the firemen, for all the armed forces, volunteers, police officers, and all the volunteers who had offered their service to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the petitions of your church be pleasing to your side, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own minutes, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of the offering, fruit of the earth, and what human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and what human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of him. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy children. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are placed in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so a great cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory to Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and archangels, and with all the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth and all of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the beautiful, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered well into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you had told us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Kerry O'Leary, and all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints of St. Jerome, and those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we make merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The For the kingdom, power, and glory, and glory, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace, the Lord, be with you always. And with your spirit. In a safe manner, let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace.
Dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called the Son of the Lamb. Lord, Lord. Lord. I have my word, my soul shall be For the reception of the Most Holy Communion, I am going to approach to your place. You don't say amen because you are really going to say it. And as well, we, after the final blessing, we are going to uh, uh, do the distribution only on the parking lot until 8.45. If you cannot pray, uh, if you cannot come with us to the communion, you can also offer a prayer for a spiritual communion. The body of Christ. spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, for that end. Amen. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in the celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to the sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following, obtain life everlasting. 
to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please take your seats. Well, dear sisters and brothers, <clears throat> today, uh, uh, maybe already yesterday, Father told you about the possibility mm. to having another extra Mass on Sunday. Yeah, why not? So, if you are interested in coming, not this Sunday, the next Sunday, okay? We are going to have an opening for a Sunday Mass, so you can come and be part of the, of the assembly. So, I am sometimes too afraid that we are too comfy that I just get click and watch since my uh, chair or, I don't know, your couch and my bed, I'm watching Mass. This is because pandemic. This is not normal thing, okay? Just remember, we had a thirty opening, not this Sunday, the other one. Why? Because we love you so much. And the other thing is, we want to invite you to please take your rosaries out. You brought your rosaries? Yes. Tomorrow we start the rosary month. As I said uh, yesterday, and some freak out, but truly yesterday we celebrate what? The, sick, the, the holy archangels and we have nine kinds of uh, angels the spiritual uh, beings uh, the, the, the angelical nature and one of them is, are the archangels and we know that the month of October is the most active month for the other guys it's true always have been it's just that we don't talk too much in mass because we want you to sleep well and not have nightmares. But it's true. Um, we, that's the reason why also the month of the rosary is, has to be praying more on this month of October. And you know that the coming months are going to be really tricky in our country as well. I don't want to talk too much about politics and stuff like that. But it's not just this. It's just social stuff, leaders of the world, and many other things that are going on. So, praying the rosary is something important in this month, so please consider and remember that once upon a time an exorcist asked me to a uh, kind of clean spirit, tell me what is the uh, rosary mysteries who the Prince Virgin Mary loved more? The sorrowful mysteries. Just that I say. So, dear sisters and brothers, please rise your rosaries I'm gonna keep the blessing and those who didn't come sorry that's why we had one two three four five six seven eight eight places empty so thank you so much for those who came please rise your rosaries in the name of the Father the Son the Holy Spirit Amen mighty ever living God we ask by the power of the Holy Spirit dignify yourself to bless these rosaries these sacramentals the Lord that teach us more about your own plan of to save all of us for all the main moments of the life of Jesus and Mary. Help us to imitate the values and I pray in the rosary, O oh Lord, keep defending our houses, our home, my spirit from all the snares of the devil. Help us as well to love you more and be more amazed of your love for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you, Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Have a blessing. <laughs>